Welcome to Heathen's Garage. Everything else is apart, so we may as well do some interior work. Hey. Let's try again, dog. Oh, what? Oh, buddy. Welcome to Heathen's Garage! Everything's tore apart anyway, so we may as well do the interior. Hey, Elvis! You did come in for the intro, hey? Good boy. I don't know how much you guys have seen the interior of this thing, so... Let me just refresh your memories here. We have these cool old seats. And they're awesome, and I really like them. Oh, and they're dirty. The passenger one fell apart when we were driving last year. And the driver's side one... Has broken framework inside and it all needs tore apart to fix. Also, the floors are held in by sheet metal screws, and this part of the floor isn't connected to the rocker panel. You can see the daylight there. We obviously went to Miles of Mayhem that way and everything was fine, but also it was loud and awful and uncomfortable. Hideous. It was really hot. You couldn't actually talk to each other. And the most pleasant part of the day was putting earplugs in. So we'd like to remedy that a little bit. I'm not saying we're gonna go crazy. We're not putting floor pans in it because I can't get them. But we are gonna patch it up a little bit at least. Maybe slightly better than it is. If nothing else, we'll cover it with underlay so we don't have to look at the problem. And better yet, we got new seats. And I'm pretty excited about them, but I'm not showing you till Closer to the end of the episode to see if that helps the retention rate. YouTube things, algorithms. This is not conducive to drag racing. Even with something this slow. I suppose the first step is get the seat out. That'll be a treat. You'll notice I'm now working blind because a screw fell out of my glasses and uh, well, the super glue hasn't sat yet. So in a few minutes, I'll be able to see again. In the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can get a couple of these bolts out. Which I bet isn't gonna go well based on the amount of bad words I heard from the guy who happened to be installing them. That's the wrong size, that's the wrong size. Okay, try again. At least one of them came loose, that's a good start. Why is it so long? here. That's gonna be hard to do by myself, isn't it? Oh, I think that one's got a nut underneath, so I'll fight with that. Now we're working on a back one. Does it have a nut underneath too, or is it coming loose? Feels like it's just spinning round and round and not coming undone. Okay, well, we got one out of three. Four. There should be four. The other one's over here. See, this seat's kind of... Yeah, here we go. Okay, we got another one of these big studs. Let's see if that'll come on. Ooh. Tell you one thing, a wrench isn't very effective. All right, well, the good news is I can reach the nut on this one at the same time as the bolt. It's a little awkward, but we're getting it undone. Now we only got this corner left. Get out of there. Why is it so long? Maybe it's into a bracket. We're gonna reach that now. There's a frame in the way. The wrench. gonna want to turn away so I should point my wrench like that. You come with me. We put our wrench on here to hold it and now we're gonna climb underneath and see if we can get the nut out. There it is. That's not so hard is it? Oh, look at all those screws from my patch panels. Those have gotta go. So does that big rust hole. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. Swimmingly? It's going great. See, it wasn't that hard to get four bolts out. Now, all I have to do is get the seat out of the door, through, through the door, that won't open all the way. Because of reasons. Fold the seat. Does that help? Why is it folding? Now I can't fold the seat. Okay, maybe it just fits. Lucky? Oh, we are. Well, this isn't a big deal. <laughs> yes! Mission one is accomplished. Great. There's no more seat. Now all we have to do is fix this mess and put a new seat in. But a new seat involves welding, and the dogs are not cool with welding. Are you? And Elvis, you're bored again, eh? You don't last long out here these days. You're more of a fair weather dog, eh? We'll go for a walk. Will that make you happy? 
Well, it's going to be a little ugly, but here we go. Like, it isn't great, but that's a big chunk of it all cut out. We've got some more to do. Now that we got a bunch of holes, we got to do the part that I want to do the least, which is make new floor. As far as I know, I can't buy a new floor for this, so we're just going to build patch panels and weld them in. Sort of like we did before, but welding instead of screwing. The good news is I'm not going to do it right now, because I'm actually trying to film two videos at once. And I'm gonna go work on the other one because it's more fun. But you won't know that because in about a second, we're gonna be back out of making these floorboards. See, I told you we'd be back in a second. Here we are. We're at it for a little while this evening. It's actually Tuesday. If you're watching this video, it came out on Friday. So just know this is like pretty current and fresh stuff we're working on. Now, have a look at this, eh? We had the night crew come in a couple hours ago and he started Cutting out a little more. We had to hack out an extra few inches here, and we took this whole line off all the way up to there. Cut out more rust underneath the pedal back here. Overall, the whole thing just needed a bunch more metal cut out of it. But I think I got most of like the big rust gone now. I mean, the night crew did. That leaves us with putting the patches in. Now to start with, we got a problem. I'll show you. It's supposed to be a lip like this. See. And it's supposed to go all the way up here. And that's actually meant to be part of the rocker. We don't have that part of the rocker anymore because it's gone. And also, the bottom of the rocker is not connected to the top of the rocker. I don't know if it ever was connected, but it's definitely not now. And I'd like it to be, to make it just a little sturdier. It's going to be sort of poor as is. We better just do what we can. What we're going to do is we'll stitch this up a little bit. Just a few... Tick, 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 tick. Not a bunch of welding, but a few ticks. And then, a little overgrown. So I found a piece of angle iron laying around. So we'll notch it, cut it. That'll give us our lip for the weather stripping that isn't there. It'll obviously sit a little lower. Yeah, then we'll have a base for the floor, somewhere to put the weather stripping, and it'll stiffen it up a bit. See, one thing about being on camera is it slows the guy down a bit, because feel inclined to wear safety gear as to not be a bad influence on the young fellers or the old fellers, whichever, but I'll put my gloves on. Look at them, even using earplugs. Get in there, guys. Oh, not already. Oh, my battery dies so fast. Hang on. I'm going to be kicking it old school here. Okay, I'll give you guys a history lesson. This grinder right here, this is the first new power tool I ever bought. It's a long time ago. Gotta, gotta keep your first ones or whatever that phrase is. Where did I lose my other glove? And my pants are falling down. How embarrassing. Uh-oh. Huh. This is not going well. Is the other end plugged in?
Hey, how about that? We got some surfaces. It looks like we might be able to weld to them. We're even gonna use a tape measure. Now we got a charged up battery and the old cordless one out. Now we're rolling with two grinders. It's gonna drastically improve our speed. Maybe it won't. I probably can't use one in each hand. I guess we should be like Alaska and cut it off at a wicked angle, hey? Maybe in the future I won't send all the sparks at the seat. That could be the wrong life choice. Now we need to make some notches, see? Oh, a snack. Marker, that's what I was actually looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, just like that. Maybe a little tighter tolerance, see? Yeah, something like that. And then we'll put one here. There we go, okay. Oh yeah, I said I wasn't gonna put the sparks towards all awful. That seems like a good way to lose my fingers. Ow! Went down my glove! There, does that fit any good? Not really, it still needs to be cut down more, hey? My new strategy has been to not quite cut all the way through and just leave it a little long. See these tabs? See, I, I nicked them, but I don't cut all the way through and then I can just bend them up. And it'll sit where it wants to sit. My theory has proven successful. Perhaps with some encouragement. Okay, have a look, see. See what you guys think. See, now we got that sort of fits there. Our gap is significantly smaller here. And then it will all just be welded in there. And we'll have a nice solid base to weld this to. At least that's my theory. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna just weld these a little bit together. Got her turned down all the way, but I don't know. I ain't Cruise Culture Magazine. I don't think I've ever tried welding in body panels with the Fox Core welder to any success, but he did it, so. So can I, maybe? I don't know. Oops. Is it even welding? Like it's not welding pretty, but it's weldering. You know what? I think it's kind of working. Well, it's certainly all tacked together, like it ain't welded, but it's tacked all together. Hmm, neat. Honestly, that might be strong enough for me. I might be content with that. Especially when we're welding something onto this side and this side. We'll knock this down quick and put a piece in. And this will be all good. Just right good in the hood, you know? I'm gonna grind it a little more to clean it up. We're gonna weld that in. I think that's gonna be just fine, probably. It's gonna be at least adequate. Okay, that wasn't so hard, was it? That's sturdy enough for now. I'm just gonna run floor pans into it. You have to weld it from underneath too to get the bottom side of the rocker, but that seems like a when I'm underneath job, not a right now job. How about some metal? Hmm? Is this metal gonna be big enough anymore? Probably not. Some of it might be. Well, I can work with that, can't I? Just tack some of that in, hey? Why not? It's already here. It'll cover 80%. I can tack another piece in right there. Yeah, let's do it. Now you might be upset that we're lap welding all this in, but I don't have the patience to not lap weld this. And it's covered. It's a floor. It'll be fine.
I'm gonna be honest, folks, we're probably gonna be at this for a while. We got a big old set of shears. We got some extra tin. We're just gonna cut pieces and, you know, tack them in. I don't know what else to tell you. That's just what we're gonna do for a while. Like, if that ain't ready for SEMA, I don't know what is. Good night. See you in the morning. Nope. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm at work. I'll see you soon. What do you think? Should we go work on the Jeep? Or should we stay outside? Probably go work on the Jeep, hey, pal? Yeah, let's go do it. It is a gorgeous spring day. We're going back into it. But we got something pretty exciting now. Because I realized we've got enough floor to mount something to. Hey, why is my table falling? This right here is something I'm pretty excited for. I ordered this for a different project, but that project's a ways away. Someday, we're gonna put the original seats back in this Jeep when they're fixed and reupholstered. But right now, we're gonna put these in. I'm pretty excited about it. We so far have an empty box. That's a good start. Don't know what these are. Let's just find the good stuff, Ethan. Come on now. We'll get this out. live critter in here. Hang on. What is that thing? And also, these seats have been in here for weeks. Like it was minus 20 some days. How is that alive? All right, little friend. Hope you don't bite. Go away. Yeah, curl up. Just don't go be alive somewhere else. Go outside. There, I did green piece of favor. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Look at the stitching. Aren't they cool? I'm so excited. They got these. For some reason, there's three of them. I would have thought there was at least four. Nope, there is four. Oh! Bag 
this back up. Now one thing that didn't occur to me, and that is this is a two-door. It would be good to be able to put somebody in the back. Maybe I just won't swap the other seat. You got mount spots where there's holes. You got two lefts and two rights, or how do these operate? Who makes the move? Well, that's what this must be. Somehow this is your deal. I don't know how yet. I don't think there's any instructions. How do I know where forward and backwards is? Why is there no instructions? Doesn't have a ton of range there. This side there, then this will have to go there. So that I will be I'm here. And I'll go like this. Yeah. Okay, so it sits like that. We figured that out. For those of you with the Performance World seat, it sits like that, with the skinny side towards the seat and the this towards the back. So I'm gonna have to take these right back off after, aren't I? So I can like drill the holes and figure that part out. Why is it so wide? Work. I can't bend it in that much. How is that supposed to work? It's way out there. Gravy, are you supposed to pull it in that far? Oh, I guess you are. Okay, I will then. Not this time though, because I'm going to be taking it right off. We're going to put that on next time. What do you see? Oh, did I just drop a bolt? Hi. Hopefully this will be much easier now that I'm an expert. These bolts are like cross thread city. They'd way rather cross thread than thread right. It's just a seat. All it has to do is not move. Be comfortable. All right, now I know, like, th I'm not done with the floor, okay? I'm not trying to pretend that I am, but I am done enough that I can look at this, and I really want to see it. So we're putting it in. I really hope it fits through here. Also, these studs are going to be a problem, like not a problem for this second. Be careful, Ethan. Careful. Oh. See. Okay. Oh, this is... That's pretty low. Oh, that's like race car low though. I don't think I can be this low. I think we're gonna have to put it on stilts. But a guy should really try it out, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feels like a race car now. It's like I'm in a Camaro. This is pretty cool. Look at how much headroom I have. Oh, well, maybe it's not so bad down here. Look at how big my legs could be. That'd be pretty good. No, that wouldn't be good. I don't know. I'm just pleased with this overall. Is that you? I'm not centered. Problem number one. Problem number two is it's too low. Okay, we gotta go up and over. How do I get out? Oh yeah. I don't have a out lever. It's okay, Luna Bear. How do I get out? Gracefully! Gracefully. Alright guys. Just check that out, hey? Ain't that sick? Along with my cool floor. But I'm gonna start fixing to I'm gonna start fixing to? Where am I from? I'm gonna work on getting this mounted. But right now, she's Wednesday, and we gotta have the thing edited by Friday. So, you know, I don't leave much time. We'll have this mounted up sooner or later, one way or another. But in the meantime, we're gonna call that the end. Appreciate you guys watching and sticking around and subscribing. Goodbye.